Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here with Let's Play More Chrono Trigger at the end of time, and we're listening to Robo's theme because one thing that I, I should point out is when you talk to people, um, at the end of time, uh, your reserve party stays here. Um, it plays their theme song when you, uh, when you switch them out. So now we're listening to Marley's theme. Alright, um, and I'm gonna leave this group of Robo, uh, Luca, and Chrono. And we're gonna go to Mystic Mountain, 65 million years BC! And... We come out of the gate! In midair, and fall to our deaths. Except not. But, there's a race of green people, half human, half dinosaur. And we start off with a fight! Let's, uh... Yeah, let's... Take out as many as we can with, like, Cyclone or something. Napalm. They're putting Robo to sleep. And then waking him back up again. Fire works pretty well on them. They're really not that difficult. Come on, hit Robo and wake him up. Thank you. Three hundred sixty ten tech points, not bad. And a pedal. We'll learn more about that in a little bit. But holy crap, more of them show up. That's a lot more than what we could have well we could handle that, but instead we get an anime scene. I just, I love the dumbfounded look of what the hell just happened on Chrono's face during that scene. But, the real scene, as it was in the SNES, a mysterious half-naked woman shows up and starts beating the crap out of these things. And she takes out a good number of them to where we can handle the remaining four. At least I'd hope we could handle the remaining four. I really need to give Robo something to increase his speed. And as you can see, they're not too physical resistant. They just have a habit of putting us to sleep. And apparently if they hit us with an ability that puts us to sleep, it puts us it keeps us asleep instead of waking us up like it should. Hit you with a hammer! And yeah, wake up, Chrono. Two hundred and eighty eight experience points, eight tech points, another pedal. And the cave woman appears. I <laughs> like Robo. Do not upset her. She's rather agitated right now. She's pushed Chrono against a wall. And this is our newest 
Uh, well, I guess party member, because we get to name her, is the best way to do it. And her name is Isla! And we're gonna keep the name Isla. Me, Isla. Isla likes strong people, so Isla like Chrono. Isla have poor prepositions in sentences. She seems interested by the robot. Ah, <laughs> uh, I just I keep thinking of something. What is it? Uh, it's the all the uh, the robot chicken sketches with uh, Lindsay Lohan. What do you say? You make no sense! Nothing you said made any sense! Alright, so we get to go, um, to the village, but, uh, unless she's got Dreamstone. Which, it seems like she might have Dreamstone. We'll follow Isla to her village. And the treasure chests here are kind of weird boxes. We got a Berserker. Yeah, I, I can't make it through there. Uh, Alright, so now we get to fight the little koala things. Kill Walla. We're gonna fire whirl those guys. Um, and as a universal uh, statement for, for this, um, Dinosaurs are weak to lightning. So once we get area of effect lightning spells, dinosaurs become, you know, crap. <laughs> Koalas, however, I don't think are resistant to lightning. I think they just get in the way regardless. Come on, just die already. 276, 12 tech points, a horn, and a pedal. So, yeah, those are actually currency for the past. We can trade various quantities of horns, pedals, feathers. Um, there's four pieces in general. I forget what they all are. But we can trade various combinations of the two of them um, at the trading hut in Isla's village instead of money. Because, obviously, they don't take gold. All right, uh... Places we can go to. We can go all over the place. We can go to the forest maze. We can go up to the Ioka huts. This is the Ioka village. I think it's Ioka. I, I really have no idea how to pronounce this because Square loves to just throw random consonants and vowels together to form words. Uh, they don't know who I am. But the sweet water restores HP and MP, so we want that. So, nice restorative HP MP. Uh, really, there's no point in looking around, because until we talk to Isla again, they're not really going to do much. They're just going to offer generic babbling. Yes, I want to see the pretty red stone the chief has. Because that sounds like Dreamstone. With as vague as an information as you've told us. To the chief's hut. And the chief is Isla. And we we get to go to a part. No, we want the stone. We don't want to go to a party. Strongman Chrono, friends of Chrono, Robo Luca, and we dance. All right, so now let's just Chrono in the party, so we can talk to people. This is no time to celebrate. They're twisting my arm. Eat, sing, dance. We can go. There's one person here who doesn't look like he's having fun. 
Oh, yes. There's dissension in the ranks. And you could... If uh, you go to the... The Millennial Fair, you can do the dancing there. But it's the same... They, they all pretty much say the same thing. Yes, it even still exists in 1000 AD. Special Jurassic Pork Soup. Good stuff. So there's a pacifist village called Laruba. And the reptites wanted to kill everyone. Alright. Yeah, let's try some of this. And Chrono's downing a giant bowl of soup. What an unpleasant substance and so many bugs in it. Poor Robo. Come on. No, I don't want to. I've already... Uh, fine. I'll eat some. I've already done this, though. There we go. Now we've... Look for... That's what we need, yes. Fine, I'll fight you to the death. What, we're drinking soup? How does soup prove who's stronger? We start now. Press X button much times. And... Like the, uh... The soda guzzling contest. We just have to keep pressing X. And I won. And now we get to eat the last bowl for our health. Maybe eat too much. Alright. And then we party the night away after getting drunk off soup. Which, I don't think it's soup. I think it's supposed to be alcohol. It seems to affect humans. I was a perfect lady last night and a liar. You were pole dancing with the Neanderthals. All right. Um. Yeah. Pretty much, the reptites showed up and took the stuff. So, gate key has been taken. Oh, crap, They took our gate key. So we've got to go and find the, the reptites to get our gate key back. As Isla's asleep. All right. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. And I will see you all in our next installment. Till then, later everyone.